Hello and welcome back. I am the kid in the gas mask, and I would like to thank you for the handful of people who watched my ATF problems video. I would like to say that I did get something incorrect in that video. I was unaware of how game passes worked, and did not know that Roblox takes 90% of the funds when one is bought. Regardless, I still stand by most of my points in the video. If you want me to redo the video, please comment down below. Now onto the video. I have played Roblox for quite a while now, before this channel existed and when I thought Cool Kid was a good username. Most of my time on Roblox was spent roleplaying and I thought it would be a good idea to go over the types of role players I've seen. Please note that I am that this is what from this is from what I've seen and stereotyped. Please don't be offended if I bash your playstyle or whatnot. If you disagree, good if you disagree with me, good for you. You have an opinion. The fail role player is common in almost every role playing game, no matter what. They usually have no idea what they're doing in the game and try to play it like Phantom Forces, not realizing that the weapons do no damage. A few games like have old servers like Blast Wound and Max that are meant to prevent FRPers by placing anyone who doesn't have an account over a year old into the into an old server. Most of them are little kids and I don't blame them for not knowing how to play. We all have to learn. But it can be annoying immersive and immersive breaking and it can crowd up a game leaving no no space for good or good, good role players. A newer role player isn't too different from an FRP -er, and will usually be slinged in the FRP category. Most newbies have very basic RPing skills. It basically boils down to saying shoots or kills and not RPing their shots. They also haven't messed they also likely haven't messed with their avatar at all. And it's just, and it just looks like a normal bacon, bacon haired person. Or their avatar skin will be a unrealistic color like bright red or neon green. Most have basic names like Dave slash strong slash fast slash single. But I still don't blame them for not knowing how to role play. They also never follow, they also never read lore or read rules. Dorky. The rookie role players are more reasonable than newbies. They might use quotation marks, but they likely pick this up from a more veteran or peer. Their grammar usually isn't the best, and they will still use asterisks to display actions like kill or shoots. They will display they will follow basic or role playing skills, but they will still probably not but will probably not understand terms like permission to kill or permission to cripple. The good role player. The good good role players usually fall into two categories. The good role player and the good role player in quotation marks. The good role player usually will follow, will usually understand will usually play one kind of game and and will understand the rules of that game and will able to understand the rules of other games. They will usually use terms like I'd or more advanced users users will use he'd or she'd or it. They will understand permission to kill and permission to cripple and will use quotation marks in nearly everything they say. They will also know how to go into OOC and such. The other kind of role player is the good role player. They will be the, they will, they'll be the same as the normal role, good role player, but will adapt to more toxic play styles like speed typing, meta playing, and throw and using throwaway characters. They mostly inhabit ADF after the flash due to the fact that After Flash is the only game that, that has a community that somewhat accepts that somewhat accepts speeds, typings, and throwaways. The annoying role player. The annoying role player pretty much takes up what feels like 60% of the pro role players in Roblox. Annoying role players who use speed typing and have a high word per minute score. They they mostly play AD After the Flash, but will some but some will join other games like Neon District and Dark and Dawn. Due to the fact that these games have don't have any rules against speed typing, and the role players there will usually have a lower word per minute, which makes them easy prey for these role players. They will complain about people not reacting to their hits when the person being attacked gets sick of their wave of BS and actions. They will also randomly attack people for small things and will like and will more than likely use throwaway characters. But they also they will also use rules from other games against role players that call them out on their BS. But will also complain when their rules are used against them. The god role player, rare and few, but very enjoyable to play with. They will 
likely use one character or a handful of characters. Most of their characters are usually really good. They are either very relatable or deep with lore, and very interest and have very interesting character design. Some characters are so good that they become integrated into a game's lore. Most god role players are very friendly, and you bet your robux that you will make a new friend by the end of the day when you're playing with them. One problem with god role players is that they're usually very crowded by other players, which makes them hard to RP with and play with. So that's my two takes on what kind of role players they are. If you disagree with me, comment down below. Why? If you want, if there's another kind of role player that I missed, comment comment it down below. If you want me to, if you just want me to or role, want me to review another game, role playing or not, comment it down below. That will be all. See you nerds later.